This is 14-year-old reseller Ruben. This is Ruben's dad, and this is a sketchy van. Ruben and his dad drove two hours to meet me in Melbourne and said he had a bunch of items in the back of his van that I might be interested in buying to sell for a profit on eBay. The only problem was I was hosting a reseller meetup event in just two hours. So if this pick was gonna happen, it was gonna have to happen right now. Is this the first thing out of the van? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's Come sick. That's Come sick. You could nearly stand up in there. Oh, actually, I probably could stand up in there. Yeah. There's DVDs in the bottom of that massive tray full of DVDs. Bottom of that one there. Yeah. I see a bunch of Xbox games. So you picked yourself up a Game Boy today. Have a look at this. Um, it's, it's like half an hour away. DS. Oh, I've got a couple more of those if you want them as well. Yeah. Um, so what am I looking at in here? Is it just video games? Um, That's all. Oh, this is a tub full of video games and this is just a bunch of random stuff this has on the floor so you got mix and dvds below dvds below DVDs yes below. okay and then this is video games that's the whole tub of video games yeah okay I think. tell you what this is a cool video idea picking out of the back of a van <laughs> picking yeah. up the back of a sketchy white van sketchy white van that's, that's the um that's the game boy right there the dmv original comes with the manual the game yeah, lights nice. and games lights in the case as well that's cool Jax is, uh, oh, Jax is a big Game Boy man. Cases. Big Game Boy? Yeah. Big yeah, Game Boy cases. man. Got one of those cases today? No, I got an actual Game Boy today. Oh, wow, yeah, cool. A red one. I don't even know what some of this Purple stuff's one. worth, bro. Oh, yeah, I better show you. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I do play a lot of you, mainly you Mario. You the Pokemon ones? Um, I just sold all of my Game Boy Pokemon games. Cause oh, really? I, they don't, I don't really like them. Nah, yeah, I know. It's just good to have them. Yeah. It's yeah. Good but they, they sell for good money. What'd you do that one for? Sorry? How much? Is it what um, you got priced at? What, where is this flea market or? Um, what do you? Was in the collection, that was um, in the family pretty much. Uh, they were gonna they were gonna chuck that in the bin. I said no, I'll take it. So yeah, right. Yeah. Um, well, just throw it off. I don't mind. Um, how about twenty bucks? Yeah, done. Done. Twenty. I was just, yeah, I was just 20 thinking twenty bucks, bucks as well. Are you find me twenty. All right, let's do that. Make a little pile, mate. So these, are they, are, is this you setting that price? That was setting, me setting that price for Facebook, but obviously I can go lower because yep, yep. I'm going to buy a lot more. Easy. If you're, if a lot of these, like that's a good game, I know that. I know, yeah. How, like much, is, how much are you doing for that? How much? Oh, well, I can, I can, as I do with all these sort of private picks, literally tell you what it's going to be worth I, on I, eBay. I, they're probably worth around 80, 90, I reckon that one, probably 85-ish. I've sold it once before. Spy vs. Spy. I think it's about 60. But I'll show you. Okay. I'll show you. I just picked a bunch of those Xbox games up. Not long ago. You guys getting wet out there? Oh, uh, I'm kind of in a little bit. Do still. you want to like jump in the mattress or something? Oh yeah, just dive over. No, Why don't we all get in here and <laughs> that way you're going to be fine. Yeah, so dude, there's a 70 and a 60. Yeah. Only only two Aussie comps. Yeah. Um, it's complete with the manual and the disc looks pretty good as well. Okay. Chuck an offer, man. I don't, I don't mind. Uh, yeah, disc is pretty good. Um, I would probably go 20 on that as well. 20 on that? Yeah. Did you do like 30 on that one? I use the e-profit calculator. Yeah. I'm gonna go based on 60, $4.50 shipping. Item costs 30. See, buying it for 30, I'm only making 17 bucks. Yeah. So probably, I'd probably go 20 to try and make 30. Yep, that's fine. Yep. That All right, done. Prices are obviously worth. Just well, it actually helps you having the price points. Yeah, just so I know, remember. Because yeah, it sure. sounds like you're pretty much going off majority like eBay, or close enough to it at least. Yeah, I guess I was trying to get a little bit. Yeah. As you should though. But I guess obviously for this sort of scenario, if you're going to be, well, that's rad. That's cool though. On this Funko app, they go for like 180, but on eBay they sell for like 80, I think. Yeah, dude. Last time I checked. So. This one's in good near. Yeah, it is in pretty good condition, as well as it, it comes with a protective case as well. International's over 100. Yeah, but the, the Aussie Nothing. ones are only like 80, so. Yeah. Yeah. Killer clowns. It's cool. It is pretty cool. Now you got good stuff. Take yeah, you obviously. Games. Take out all the Xbox games, just, just, just take them up and file them. Um, Something like that. What do you reckon? Doesn't uh, have the manual? Doesn't have the manual, I know that. Um, he knows his stuff, which is good. Yeah, obviously. Mm. Know what you're looking for, that's for sure, yeah. So I don't think Sonic Heroes is actually... Um, no Aussie comps on this. What game is that one? 
Sonic Heroes. Oh yeah, that was, there was no Aussie comps on that one. No Aussies. No Aussies. Thanks, thanks. Crash Tag Team Racing. Oh, that's about 20 bucks. Yeah, around 20 bucks. Yeah. So I'd be like five on that. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, why not? Just do it. Buy it, sell it, clear it out. Yeah, get otherwise, more. yeah. Cash flow. Get rid yeah. Of cash flow. Stuff too. More cash, go again. Um, five bucks? Yeah. Done, add it to the pot. Uh, what can you sell for? Like 80? 80, yeah. Um, I think the charger's in there. Yeah, as well. I saw a charger as well. Um, uh, and it comes with the stylus, obviously, as well. The correct like, stylus. Um, like 35 or something. Oh, I'd have to go around 20, yeah, I reckon. Oh, hang on, there's a game, yeah, there's a game, game, in, there, game yeah. in there. If you're about to go um, eBay, you can sell shit like that. So, yeah. yeah, I was thinking about going to eBay. You'll have to have, um, uh, I think you have to be... 18. Yeah, that's 18, the only yeah. thing that sucks. Because we've got a friend, obviously, you know, Jamie. Yeah, Jamie. Yeah, so he's a bit of a... Yeah, he's stuck in that bit, uh, situation too. Yeah, okay. A few scratches on that one. Yeah, there is. So might might leave him. Unfortunately, I didn't, I didn't really realise when I bought that. Nah, that's all good. It'll still sell. Yeah, it will. What, do you, what are these things? Um, they're like PS1 controllers. They're like sealed still from like... Oh, old know. school. Apparently... Yeah, I've got my issue is I've got to get it back home to the Gold Coast. Yeah, that's yeah, the only yeah. thing. It's pretty on the plane and weight and everything. Like yeah. video games are good for me cause it's, and Jack's because yeah. it's light. Yeah. DVD's down here. Got DVD's down there. Pull all the stuff off and just get into the DVDs, I guess. Yeah, man. Uh, so, what do you got for DVDs? Do you have TV shows or movies? Um, both, actually. Both? Um, do you mind if I put all this here? Yeah, just throw it all back there. It's not like confused. Half of this is like op shops, random stuff. So Yeah, okay. I'll just throw that away and then all this stuff. So, what's this weird. big guy? Star Trek. It's Star Trek, um, it's like a case. It's like a season. Yeah, sick. All right. Absolutely fabulous. Jump in the car, that you're yeah, yeah. out there. Honestly, yeah. And you know about Region 2, Region 4? Oh, no, I don't. It's like American and different. So, Region 4 plays in Australia. Yeah. And Region 2 and Region 1 play overseas. Yeah. Um, some uh, DVD players in Australia will play Region 1 and 2, so it's not like none of them will sell. Yeah, okay. Um, but you've got to be pretty wary. It's What's just like glass. Nah, pass there. that away. Yeah. Take that one. Put to the plane. Don't toss it. Don't toss it. Put it away. Pass it away. <laughs> All right. So. I put paper in there. To You'd want that, wouldn't you? Nah. You sure? I need the blast toys, mate. Blast toys. Oh, you should have picked up a blast toys for So it looks like there's a lot of movies in here. Um, try yeah. and try and pick up. Um, try and pick up TV shows when you're out sourcing your DVDs. Oh, this was just one bulk lot I got it for like... Nah, that's cool. Hours, but... but moving forward, if you're just getting started, yeah. you'll see some big returns in like like this sort of stuff where it's like, like yeah. that there would be... I mean, that's okay, but in other TV shows that would do really well. Yeah. Um, like Yu-Gi-Oh! for Jax. Already got the full set, mate. Already got the full set. Got the set. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. Canto Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Um, are you up hats or? I do, man. Yep, do a lot of hats. Picked up many in Melbourne? No, I haven't picked up one. Oh, I should sell you all of them and Anaconda. Oh, the Bunnings one. What's that hat? It's a Halo one. Oh, no. How much uh, on the tie you like? Bunnings, nah. Bunnings feels okay, but not that one. You need a cord. Yeah. Donkey one, Kong, what's this? From, you can buy that one from Bunnings for like three bucks, so. Donkey Kong for an Atari. Yeah, what do you reckon on? Uh, what do you think? What about... What's 25 for those two then? Uh, yeah, I can probably do that. 25 or two. Oh. Um, by the way, Matt, the, I'm taking this off specifically because these are all like a dollar each and these ones just sell for like quite a lot more. Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, it gets in there. Got a couple of sealed ones too. Yeah, I got some sealed stuff in here as well. Lead, lead balloon I haven't heard of. Oh, yeah, I don't know if that one's expensive. Well, it's BBC, so it should be okay. I think these two are pretty good. I think mainly this one's better. I just, you know, I'm not a DVD professional yeah. like you, but... The entire series, the entire... How much on them? Um, oh, I have no idea, but... Throw me a number. Like... Five bucks for a pair? 
for both? Yeah. Five total? Five total. Done. Let's do that. So I don't think there's much in the way of your Wii games. Yeah. But if, not. what would you do on these three game cubes? Ooh, I know that one's the best, sure. How much? Um, I think yeah. they might sell for around like 60 bucks or something. 60 bucks? 60, 60 but I can, you know. That one's probably not worth a bunch. Yeah, it's, obviously it's GameCube, so it's worth like something, but it's not worth the most. We so. can do some numbers on, on uh, what's the condition like? Um, uh, I think the other two are complete. Mario Sunshine isn't, and I think they are pretty scratched, but I have tested them on the Wii. You've tested? I have tested and they like read and everything. Like, okay, so this is there some scratches, is there? Oh, uh, there's some scratches on the three. Um, obviously, I picked them all up in like the dark. And I just couldn't it's not. Me. It's not that bad. That one, I think I got pretty lucky with, but the other two, I think. Or maybe I'm thinking about um the PS2, like uh, the PS2 games. All right. Well, let's let's have a look at this one. So that one is yeah, only worth about ten bucks. Yeah. So we're just going to pass on that. Um, this one here, Super Mario Sunshine, it's worth about 50, 60 bucks. But given the condition, there's no manual in there. Um, I said said fifteen bucks, but we're just going to pass um, because I reckon Ruben can get a few more dollars for it um, than fifteen off me. So good luck to him. I'm sure he'll, I'm sure he'll get it. Um, how you going, Jax? Not too bad. Just a couple of games. Two. Two very similar games, and then just the Donkey Kong on the uh, the Atari. Actually. What did you get so, Donkey Kong for? Um, thirty-five for all three. So thirty-five all three. Fifteen, Sick. ten, ten. So, yeah, cool. Uh, lead balloon. I'm not sure on. What's this one? That's actually um, Pinocchio. Yeah. The reason I put that on that side is because it's uh, yeah. All right, Pinocchio. What would you do? Three bucks. Three bucks. Three bucks on that one. Let's do it. Three bucks on Pinocchio. Uh, mate, count me out here. Um, we got all of this. Because right. I've yeah. got to go and get ready. Yeah, no worries. So, so we're going 20. Yeah. 20. 40, that's 40. So 40 bucks. We're going to go 5. 45. We're going to go 3. Uh, 48. And then we're going to go, how about clean 50? Uh, you yeah, said 3 on that. Yeah, may as well. Clean $50 well, on that? May as well go clean $50 on that. Clean. Clean 50 bucks, mate. That's that's 50, 50 for you to go again and source some more items. That's pretty good. Um, well, mate, I got the 30. well played, bro. I'll give you another 20. Um, we're going to go to the pub right now. I owe you $20. I owe yeah. 20 bucks. Um, and then we may get back in to do another pick as the night goes on, eh? Yes, yeah, we know. Good stuff, brother. Luckily, we made it to the pub in the nick of time, and it was so good to see a turnout of over 20 eBay resellers for my first ever meetup. Everyone looked like they had a really good time, and I really enjoyed setting up the night, so much so that I'm going to actually host another event, this time in Perth on Wednesday, September 28th. More details to come. If you missed our crazy flea market experience while we were here in Melbourne, check out this video because it was an absolute doozy.